What's up YouTube, Dimalux here, and today I'll be ranking all six attractions in Kingdom Hearts 3 from worst to best. Now the summoning of attractions is a new gameplay feature mechanic introduced in Kingdom Hearts 3 where Sora calls upon classic Disney theme park rides to aid him in battle. However, these attractions have been met with criticism amongst fans, with the new gameplay feature being viewed as a clutch perk or a get out of jail free card when going up against bosses or a large group of enemies. I'll admit, it can be a bit ridiculous seeing Sora summon a brightly lit pirate ship against a darkness corrupted aqua during what is supposed to be an emotional tense sequence in the game. But for the most part, I appreciate the addition of attractions and hope to see them return in Kingdom Hearts 4. Just imagine Sora summoning the Tron light cycle ride into battle. That'd be pretty awesome. So with that being said, let's get on with the countdown. Kicking off the rankings is Blaster Blaze at number 6, being what I dubbed the worst of the attractions in Kingdom Hearts 3. For the most part, Blaster Blaze does a good job at pinning down a singular target, sending out a significant amount of damage while on the ground or hovering in the air. However, what makes Blaster Blaze the worst of the attractions in my opinion is the god awful slow look sensitivity! Oh god, I've really screwed myself up here. Listen, could you reach into my pocket and get the number for that acupuncture? I swear, it takes about 5 minutes to do a whole 360 spin. Honestly, if it wasn't for that one major flaw, this attraction would most definitely be higher on this list. Unfortunately, this attraction is beyond saving at this point. Spinning in at number 5 is the Magic Carousel. Personally, what I love most about this attraction is its rhythm based mechanic that is connected to the damage output the attraction generates. And when the Magic Carousel does its finisher, I find the cinematic to be a visual delight. However, the Magic Carousel's major flaw is that it's a stationary attraction, meaning it has no capabilities of moving around the battlefield. Thankfully, the range of the carousel's attack is actually pretty decent. Twirling in at number 4 are the Mad Teacups. I like to view this attraction as Sora, Null, and Goofy each having their own small magic carousels that can move freely around the battlefield that is great for taking out large groups of enemies spread across the map. The only downside is if the enemy knows how to fly or has the high ground as LB1 would say, Hello there. Well then you're best out of luck seeing that Sora and company don't have the option for the mad teacups to jump or reach up to high places. Sailing in at number 3 is the pirate ship. What's funny about the pirate ship being placed at number 3 is that during the Kingdom 3 premiere event, people were hating on the pirate ship, saying it was trash, the worst attraction in the game, it's too slow, or it's too weak. <laughs> well based on the final product, it looks like Square Enix took that criticism into consideration because now the pirate ship puts in work. So maybe if the fans didn't express their criticisms too much on attractions, then maybe they wouldn't have been as powerful as they are now. The world may never know. Making wet dreams a reality at number 2 is Splash Run, perhaps the most fun and creative attraction in Kingdom Hearts 3. Splash Run has Sora Dong Goofy riding in a singular attraction, creating a trail of water any way you want, whether it's up, down, or left to right, with the finisher allowing Sora and company to ride the water trail the player created and then culminates into a massive aquatic explosion. This attraction definitely is worth using for any combat situation. Rolling in at number 1 is Big Magic Mountain. Even though this highly cinematic train attraction only appears twice throughout the entire game, it sure leaves a lasting impression. Whether Sora and company are taking down the Rock Titan, or a massive army of Heartless nobodies and Unversed. Would have been useful for the giant bird in the Caribbean! I hate that thing! To me, Big Magic Mountain helps amplify the massive scope of Kingdom Hearts 3, dialing up the action to 11. Plus, any ability to make Sora look like one of the most powerful video game characters of all time is a win in my book. So there you guys have it, that's how I rank all the attractions in Kingdom Hearts 3. Let me know your favorite attraction in the comment section down below, and what attraction would you like to see for a future installment? If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, it really helps me out, subscribe for more content from me on Kingdom Hearts, and other games in general, I'm Dimalex, I'll see you in the future.